In this video, we will learn about differences between flex and inline flex. So let's start. So this is a flex container and these are three items inside this container. So let's style this one now. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this one, this light gray is the container and these three are the items inside that flex container so as you can see these items are now aligned in a single because we have applied the flex style to this container now let's style the flex item So as you can see, this is a flex container. We have applied flex style to it. And these are the flex items. So when we style display flex to the container, all the elements like this one, this one and this one, by default will come in a single row based on the space needed for the contents inside the elements. But here since I have given it a flex of 0.3, it will take 30% of the available width. As you can see here, there are some more space remaining. We can make it 33%. Yeah, now as you can see, it's taking the all the available space. So what's the difference between flex and inline flex? So let's create another container inline. And we will copy this same element inside this one. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, we don't have any style for this one. Let's style this one. So as you can see here, inline flex item takes only the available space required for the contents inside it. So this is an inline flex item container and this one takes only the space required for its inner content and it makes the outer container inline. So basically if you copy this again, okay so as you can see this one, these containers take only the space required for it and it makes all the containers to fall in single row. So basically what is the difference here is flex container takes the whole space available but the inline flex container takes only the space required for its inner content and makes the container inline. Spaces available after this container can be used by another one. That's all about the differences between inline flex and flex.